Want to build this gorgeous woven leather bench? This DIY project is super easy and affordable and I'm going to show you exactly how to build it right now. Hey guys, welcome. I'm Christy and here on my channel I share fun DIY, craft and home improvement projects that will help you create a home that you love. Let me know in the comments down below what your favourite craft and home improvement projects are. Right, let's get into this project. To build this bench, you'll need a bunch of supplies. We've listed the exact products we used in the description below. Start by measuring exactly where you'll have to cut your timber supplies. Then chop everything into pieces with a mitre saw. Don't forget to be safe and wear protective gear. You could saw the pieces by hand with a fine saw and mitre box, but a mitre saw like the one that we have will make the process quick and easy. To build the bench, you'll need two long pieces for the sides, two slightly shorter pieces for the base, four short pieces for the short sides of the bench, and four legs. After cutting, make sure to sand any rough edges with some sandpaper. Now you can start to assemble the bench. Start by laying out the pieces of timber you'll need for the top and screw them together. The screws we used for this project are amazing and went through the timber like butter. You can find a link to the exact screws we used in the description below. Put the top of the bench to one side and move on to assembling the base. Lay all of the pieces, including the legs, out as before and start to screw everything together. Make sure to countersink the screws so that you can fill over them in the next step. It's also always a good idea to use some good quality wood glue to glue everything together too. It'll help make sure that the connections are really strong. I should probably point out that you generally shouldn't screw into the end grain of the wood because the connection is a lot less secure and the wood can easily split, but it worked fine for this little bench, even if proper woodworkers are probably shutting at the screens right now. When you've assembled the bench, you'll have to fill all of the holes and cover the screws with some wood filler. Let it dry and sand it smooth before moving on to painting everything. Start by giving everything a coat of primer. I used fire and ball wood primer. Let it dry and then give everything another couple of coats of paint in your chosen paint finish. Now cut the leather for the top of the bench into strips. I used a rotary blade and a steel ruler for this as it made it really easy and quick to cut out that strips. You'll need quite a lot of them. When you've prepared all of the leather strips, start to attach them to the frame with a stapler. Start with the short strips and work from the middle outwards. This is the easiest way I've found to get an equal distance between the pieces of leather. Just keep attaching more and more strips working your way across the bench until it's completely covered. When you've attached all of the short strips, you can start to weave in the longer strips. Just attach them to the edge of the bench top with the stapler the same way as the shorter strips and pull them tight before stapling to the underside. The last thing to do is attach the top of the bench to the base. Apply some wood glue to the top of each leg and screw straight through each corner of the top of the bench into each of the legs. Touch up the screw holes with some wood filler and some paint. That's all there is to it and here is a finished bench in our bedroom. Don't forget that you can also head over to the blog to check out the step-by-step -step tutorial there too. That's where we share the exact measurements and supplies we used for this bench. All right guys, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this DIY project and let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Is it something that you feel that you could build too? Where in your home would you put this bench? Hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you've not already. I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys. All right guys, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this DIY project and let me know. I would love if you would subscribe to my channel and
and hit the subscribe button.